I think the way most people learn strumming patterns is pretty inefficient. If you're anything like me, you started by just learning songs and picking up the strumming patterns in those songs. So really, just wandering the internet desert and cobbling together a random set of strumming patterns. The problem with this is that it's number one, slow, and number two, leaves huge gaps in your knowledge. In this video, I'm going to explain all 256 possible strumming patterns on guitar in order so that you can learn them quickly and with no gaps in your knowledge. Let's start at the beginning. The very first out of all 256 strumming patterns, and that'll make more sense in a minute, but the first one you should learn is this. Down, 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 down. Now, I'm holding a G chord, but really it doesn't matter. This is about the right hand. And that's not a remarkably difficult strumming pattern to play, all right? But there's a lot of players, especially beginners, who don't understand this pattern, and their playing suffers because of it. You see, the key to washing that beginner guitar player smell off of yourself here is just becoming aware of something that you're probably doing without even realizing it, and that is thinking about music in groups of four. I just told you guys that the most fundamental kind of strumming pattern is four down strums. Not five, not less than four, and I'm willing to bet that just about none of you batted an eye at that. This is because of what we call time signatures, and all time signatures do is tell us how to think about the timing or the rhythm in a certain song. This is the most common time signature, and it's called 4-4 time, or common time. Now, it probably looks more intimidating than it is. All it means is that when we look at our standard unit of time in music, which we call a measure or, like more informally, a bar, when we look at a measure, we're gonna split this up into four beats. And again, like I said before, you're probably doing this already without realizing it. So when I tell you the most fundamental kind of strumming pattern is four down strums, one, two, three, four, you should count it just exactly like that, one, two, three, four. Again, I know this is simple, but a lot of guitar players struggle with this, and a lot of guitar players, because of that, have an underdeveloped sense of rhythm. And by the way, when we take a measure of 4-4 time, and we have a strum or a note or any musical event per one of those four beats, that's called a quarter note. And that kind of makes sense. You know, like four and a quarter, there's four quarter notes in a bar of 4-4 time. All this tracks relatively simply, but what if we want to strum a little faster? So if you want to strum faster, you gotta learn about the second most important strumming pattern, which is down up, down up, down up, down up. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, dang, quarter notes, eighth notes, we're counting stuff. I didn't become a rock star so I could do math. But here's the secret. All rock stars do math. Eighth notes are exactly the same as quarter notes, except for, oh no, all right, no, no, they're not the same. That's just not true. All right. I don't know math. That's proof I'm not a rock star. Eighth notes are what happens when you take a quarter note and you just cut it directly in half. So now you have two notes that fill the same amount of time, the same amount of space, as a quarter note did before. And this is really easy to apply to strumming. So whereas before, when we had quarter notes, we were just doing them all with down strums. One, two, three, four. You know, you notice that when you're strumming down, you have to reset your hand anyway to do another down strum. So instead of just resetting, just turn your wrist and hit an up strum. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All of this leaves the question, how do we count these? Because before we had one, two, three, four, and now we have eight eighth notes. So do we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? The answer is no, we don't just count to eight. We're still counting to four, but we have to insert a symbol, or if we're counting out loud, a syllable to make, you know, like eight individual musical events out of four beats. And the symbol slash syllable we use is and. So we would count eighth notes, we would count down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up as one and two and three and four and. And so that's the second most important strumming pattern, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that correlates to eighth notes, whereas before, in level one, we were talking about quarter notes. But we still have over 250 strumming patterns to explain. What do I mean by that? And how am I gonna explain all of that in... So at this point, we understand quarter notes and we understand eighth notes. What's next? Well, all 254 remaining strumming patterns are actually just modifications or variations of these original two. More specifically, all the remaining strumming patterns are just modifications of down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the way that works is by just removing certain strums from that pattern to create new strumming patterns. Mathematically speaking, if you have the pattern down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and you can either be strumming or not strumming, as we just talked about, on any one of those notes, then you have 256 possible strumming patterns. To give an example, you know, a very common strumming pattern is down, 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 up, down, up. This can be thought of as just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up 
without the first two ups. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If I move my hand in the exact same way, I keep it moving every single time, I just don't make contact with the strings on the first two ups, we get the new pattern. We get down, 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 up, down, up. And to be clear, you know, this goes for all the remaining strumming patterns. Another really common one is down, down, up, up, down, up. You should think of this as just exactly the same thing as down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We just remove some of those passes. Our hand doesn't make contact on some of those strums, and that's what creates the new strumming pattern. The reason you think about it like this is to keep good rhythm. You see, if your hand is constantly moving, then you're always gonna stay on beat. One of the keys to, to having good rhythm as a musician is always thinking about, you know, where, where the beat is at in the song. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on when you're playing, you don't really want to be keeping track of this in your head, but your hand can keep track of it for you. If your hand is constantly moving with eighth notes and you just think about when to make contact with the strings, you don't have to worry about staying on beat. You just actually have to think about the pattern. So, you know, the original promise of this video was all strumming patterns in order. There you go. It's down, 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 because that's quarter notes. It's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, because that's eighth notes. And then all the variations of those two create a 254-way tie for third. But before we end the video, I have to explain the other big leap forward in your understanding here. You should stop thinking about strumming patterns in terms of downs and ups and start thinking about them in terms of counting music. Think about them as in terms of numbers, you know, one, two, three, four, and ands. The way to convert any down-up pattern to a counting pattern is just knowing that the number, you know, one, two, three, or four, is always gonna be a down strum, just like it is in down-up, 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 and the ands are always gonna be up strums. So if you can listen to a song and identify the rhythm, then you just use that simple formula, the number becomes a down, the and becomes an up, to identify the strumming pattern pretty much immediately. For example, I could show you a pattern and with a little practice and a little bit of thinking about eighth notes, you should be able to pretty much identify that that is one and two and three, four. And then you know that, okay, if this was a strumming pattern, it would look like this. Down, up, down, up, down, down. So in conclusion, the number one most important strumming pattern is down, 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 because it's quarter notes. Second most important is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, because it's eighth notes. The third most important strumming pattern is a 254-way tie between all the permutations of down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the way to convert any rhythm into a strumming pattern is always thinking about the number as a down strum and the ands as an up strum. I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.